physically you feel the same thing what you feel on skis. You put your skis or your snowboard on the edge, just like on the slope, you apply a little bit of pressure on that ski, and you know, here's your ski simulator. One of the biggest problems with skiing is that you can't really ski nine months out of the year. And for professional athletes, this problem is even more important because, you know, you have to compete and you have to take part in the Olympics. And when you look at athletes and how much time they actually get on snow, it's surprising that they actually are able to ski and ski that fast. So the ski simulator is a giant motion platform. They can accelerate you from side to side laterally with an insane acceleration. You ski in front of a giant screen. We go around the world collecting actual ski trails. For the Olympics, we did Pyeongchang, the 2018 downhill course. So professional athletes can actually ski on those mountains in virtual reality before going to the race course. For an Olympic athlete, there's two very important components that the simulator provides them with. So first of all, it's repetition. You can recreate the same conditions of the same turn on the simulator over and over again. You can literally select the gates on a specific course and run them on repeat. And for a ski athlete, that gives an absolutely incredible chance of actually learning specific turns and learning specific parts of the mountain. Downhill is all about remembering what to do next. You need to remember what turn comes next. You need to remember where the full line goes next, where the course is going to turn and how sharp it's going to turn. Apply the pressure onto the outside ski and just start going. Before athletes would train by watching videos, but video doesn't give you any feedback. You can't crash on a video, you can't make mistakes. The video is just from one point of view you can't see what it's gonna look like if you go, you know, a little bit further to the left or a little bit further to the right. But the ski simulator gives you haptic feedback. It gives you an ability to make errors. It gives you an ability to complete the turns correctly. You can actually go and look at how well you went through each gate and assess what mistakes you've done in the past and how you're gonna fix them. Also a big part of uh, being an athlete is coming out of rehab quickly. Sadly, now injuries happen to an athlete. They happen to most athletes throughout the career. To most athletes, they happen multiple times. So how quickly you can bounce back from an injury is very important. And the ski simulator can shrink that time dramatically because it provides a very safe environment. And if you're coming out of the surgery, you're still not allowed to go out in the snow, but you are allowed to go on the ski simulator and work together with your doctor, watching closely your knees, your hips, your joints, and rehabbing after those injuries you had. It does feel like skiing. It gives you that thrill of the acceleration of going around the gate. You feel that force, top to bottom. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.